What's going on, wrestling fans? It is I, C. Fall, and welcome to 10 Count. Let me tell you why AJ Lee is going to cost Drew McIntyre the Money in the Bank briefcase coming up this weekend. Now, we have seen the rivalry between Drew McIntyre and CM Punk. Go back to the Royal Rumble, when by accident, Drew McIntyre injured CM Punk, which set us off into a stratosphere of storylines that turned from pretend to real to personal to professional it has been a whirlwind of fun but now it has reached a new level because drew mcintyre has stolen the sacred bracelet that cm punk wears around that has his dog's name and his wife's name on them well let's go to money in the bank in their history of money in the bank involving aj lee when john cena seemed to have in the grasp it was his chance to win money in the bank beating dolph ziggler beating other talents and all around in different storylines aj lee pushed john cena off a ladder now here we are years later aj lee has not been in the wwe in a very very long time at one point we thought cm punk would never return back to the wwe never ever ever but a run in aew and then survivor series in chicago that set us off to where we are today allowing cm punk to return back to the wwe but now the cm punk drew mcintyre storyline has hit different levels of intensity we have seen cm punk fly all the way to Glasgow, Scotland, to steal a referee's shirt to screw over Drew McIntyre at Clash at the Castle. We have seen at WrestleMania, Drew McIntyre beating Seth Rollins, handing the championship to his wife. Drew McIntyre was so proud, he was so happy, but then he saw CM Punk, and he had to get in his face. He had to do something, and this allowed CM Punk, who was injured, still from the Royal Rumble, to attack Drew McIntyre to allow Damian Priest to cash in on him. Now Damian Priest is now our Monday Night Raw World Heavyweight Champion. So it's the funniest thing about all this is we haven't even seen one match yet, and we've been building to this since January. And Drew McIntyre, in his book, he alludes to a personal reason why he actually doesn't like CM Punk, why he actually disagrees with a lot of his views. And I think one of the biggest views Drew McIntyre previous to now had beef with CM Punk is CM Punk in 2011 was talking about he was the voice of the voiceless. He wanted all the wrestlers who weren't getting opportunities to get opportunities. But in reality, even Triple H called out CM Punk in a promo once in 2011 where Triple H said to CM Punk, you're not really here for the voice of the voiceless. You're not here for the Zack Ryders and characters like that. You're here for CM Punk. You want CM Punk to be on all the shirts. You want the CM Punk, the movie, CM Punk to be on the concession stand cups. That's what CM Punk wanted. And Drew McIntyre around that time, he was suffering. He was floundering because he was no longer the chosen one as years would go on. He was no longer Intercontinental Champion. He became a member of the 3MB as years would go on. It's a, he was playing air guitar while CM Punk is world champion. That is not the voice of the voiceless in Drew McIntyre's opinion. And so now with AJ Lee missing from action for all these years, it seems like it's the perfect opportunity. With recently on SmackDown, Drew McIntyre attacking CM Punk in Chicago, beating him down, sending him to the hospital. What an opportunity. We've already seen CM Punk cost Drew McIntyre the championship at WrestleMania, the championship at Clash of the Castle. Well, let's let CM Punk rest in that hospital so he can get better for a SummerSlam match against Drew McIntyre. Let's get the dog, Larry the dog, and AJ Lee to fly to Toronto as Drew McIntyre is about to ascend each run of that ladder. He's climbing, he's climbing, he's climbing, and then out of nowhere. We don't hear the music. Actually, you know what? Let's hear the music. We hear AJ Lee's music. We hear a dog barking. It's Larry. 
They run down to the ring. The dog first tries to push the ladder over. Drew, that's not going to happen because, you know, Drew's a big guy and the dog is small. AJ Lee, though, using all the strength that she is mustering as the mother of that beautiful dog and the wife of CM Punk pushes Drew McIntyre off the ladder, causing him to fall over. And then allowing, let's say, Jey Uso to win the Money in the Bank briefcase. Now we have a whole new set of personal vendettas to set us off into SummerSlam. Because now CM Punk cost Drew at WrestleMania and at Clash at the Castle. And now here we are at Money in the Bank having AJ Lee cost Drew McIntyre the match. Shit, we're going to have to put Larry the Dog and AJ Lee in a shark cage above the ring. But having Drew and CM Punk fight each other and getting AJ Lee back in the WWE, that to me is best for business. So hopefully we see this, but I believe AJ Lee is going to make an appearance at Money in the Bank costing Drew McIntyre the match. I've been Steve Fall. This is 10 Count. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time.